Hello everyone, how are you? Uh, uh, today's uh, tutorial is about again about AngularJS and I'm just getting excited day by day as I'm going deeper and deeper to AngularJS. So today let's talk about custom directive again. <coughs> so I've just posted a video on custom directive on my last session and uh, today I came up with a program where I thought of embedding multiple pages within <coughs> a single page uh, I mean from multiple HTML page with this within a single page using custom directive so in my program I will use custom directive of attribute element and class and embed three page for this three restrict three directive uh, uh, with three pages uh, as I have done with the last program which is on route config uh, which is using first page HTML second page dot HTML and third page dot HTML so here also I am using these three pages and I will embed these three page within <coughs> within a table or in, in, within a TD or table design uh, table cell element, three cell element with the three pages. So I'm starting with the uh, app.js where I'll write the script and then I will just go on with my index.html where I will write the HTML page, HTML code. So first I'll declare the Angular model app. So this is not route uh, uh, route program. Uh, I'm not using any ng route. And the second one is controller. It's same as before main CDRL function dollar scope. So as I told you that uh, I'll just I'm sorry I'm just done in a wrong place so as I told you that I'll just uh, use the same thing I'll not use app app dot again and again and just ignore the semicolon here and start with dot the first one is dot directive first directive is page one I am naming it page one function no parameters required So I'll return restrict the first first my first restrict is E and template I'll be embedding HTML page so it will be template URL that is first page and I'm assuming that my page is on the same location as my all the other um, angular main JS. everything is located in a single folder so I'm not giving any relative path or something like that okay I mean I'm not giving any absolute path or something like that or any other folder so third one is controller controller is the same main city error So I'll just what will I do? I'll just copy this and paste two times. Second was page two. This one is attribute, and this one is second page dot HTML, and third one is page three. This is for class, and it's third. So I think as uh, you have learned about this before that for C it is class, for A it is attribute, for E it is element and there is another tag called M which is comment. I am not using the comment right now. So this is all about my app.js. So next I will go to my index.html. 
and prepare my index html next one is head and under this i'll just keep this script src equal to i told you that i have put everything inside i put everything inside the same folder so same with this one and just i'll call app.js here so this is body uh, i just forgot one thing ng app equal to app and ng controller equal to main ctrl here I'll just table I'll give it a border so that you can understand the cell individually and to understand more precisely I'll just give a table header and just copy it three times first one is element second one is attribute and the third one is class okay again I open tr td first one is element so td I'll make the td and inside that I'll just put the element page one page one as I know page one is the element restrict just copy and paste this one and here I'll just move remove this one second one is attribute so page one and the third one is class I'll also remove this one and page class equal to page three and this one is page two which is the attribute okay uh, let us go close the tr tag and now let's move to the html page i mean to the browser and check whether the program is running correctly or not so i'm using apache server uh, i've just changed the name it is i'm actually using my previous project everything is inside that that is out config so i've changed it to custom directory as you can see here this is I've changed this one and let us make enter and see this is my first page I'm into my second page and I'm, I'm at my in my last in my last page so first one is my element second one is attribute third one is class so uh, let us change something okay I am an element and in the first cell I have some problem in my keyboard and I shift I doesn't work <laughs> so I am an attribute and in the second cell and third page I am a class and in the last cell I hope this will work otherwise if I hope it will not take from the cache yes it's working so see how can <coughs> you just embed so this is a small HTML file suppose you have a a template as a very very beautiful template first uh, page second page third page you build everything within your HTML template page and just write a small code just a small code index HTML see so small code smaller code and just embed everything inside it okay so <coughs> it's awesome really it's awesome I just so let us uh, review once again this is a table header and this is the element 
for the element you have to just put the element name within the tag and it's all done in case of attribute you can post to if you just put something here say what will happen so you see so I don't yeah it will work still work I'm not just going the attribute what will happen with the attribute value this is not scope in the of this tutorial and the third one is class class equal to page 3 so if we change this see just make it page 2 and just make it page 3 and change the name of the class so it will just shift the last one will come in the middle okay okay this is not working it's not working because because we have to change the uh, value here to make it a class and just make it uh, an attribute just change, change the restrict and it's all done okay so I'll just keep it as it is okay so you can do other things also whatever you do I just make it h2 sorry h2 second page h2 and the third page h2 you can also remove the html body everything and just put the i can remove everything from here let us remove one of this and check it okay so it's still working remove the HTML body doesn't require okay it's still working so this is uh, about the custom directory for, for embedding external HTML template and you can also put other things also suppose you put some comment okay i'm not uh, i'm not on my i'm just not adding the comment section here it's uh, some other issue i have to explain it in my some later session so this is uh, a simple a very very simple example of uh, using custom directives to embed external html template within your page so i'm a just standing here this that's all i have to say about this a basic one so i hope i can come with a better one next time with a, some better more useful templates using more flexibly we can use external html template within our page so you just look at how the code is it's so concise okay this is the main page and you are doing everything and now suppose I am just I can't stop myself suppose you add more lines more of this okay okay uh, just copy this and paste and paste and paste and just go on to this see so you can just change the table width and table call span everything and resize it so what I mean to say is that you can write in everything so this is an h2 you can use more of this okay you can add style okay so suppose we use style equal to color rate okay well, let us delete this one and just add this one say blue and say green okay so uh, this I'm just trying to explain that how you can change everything just changing the template okay so this is all about this one and 
happy embedding to your page make your own template and embed it and try this out I will also provide this code I'll just put it in a zip format and give you the link it will be on my Google Drive you can download the code and see I think it will be a little bit of help, help if you are at the beginning of AngularJS and want to understand how custom directory works so thank you very much please please do press the like button if you like this video and you can also subscribe to my channel that is a CPHR 190776 thank you very much